everybody. Welcome to a, uh, another edition of Bug of the Month. So the Bug of the Month this month in February is the leech. A great pattern really all round or all season. The fish will definitely pick up on it. it. Serves also as a great attractor. So what we're going to do today is we're going to tie my signature pattern, the light speed leech. I'm starting off here, I'll just go over a few of our materials. Starting off with our hook, nice curb shank, uh, wide gap hook, the TMC 2457. You know, those leeches, as they move in the water, they'll definitely, they're not gonna just be kind of straight line. So having that nice curved hook shank brings it a little bit more uh, realistic. So starting off with our hook, we're there. And then basically the, the main body of the fly here is gonna be this 3 16 inch five millimeter deer lace. Uh, the reason I really like this deer lace, um, and you can certainly use, you know, another material similar some other leather or chamois whichever really that you kind of find works best for you the reason i really like this is it's got enough strength that it's not going to wrap around the hook but it's also still very very thin without giving off too much of a big bulky kind of look or just kind of help it helps keep it streamlined down there in the water so that's going to kind of serve as our tail when we move to the body of our leech this is just black scudback, eighth inch black scudback. Uh, kind of gives it a little bit of segmentation that leeches will have. Again, they are basically still your segmented worm. So we're gonna try to make that look as real as possible. And then just some nice chartreuse vivis hollow tinsel, okay? I, I really like the chartreuse. You can certainly tie it in different colors or, or whatever you would like, whatever you think looks best. For me, this, this chartreuse color has always worked best. Um, I've tried reds and blacks and browns and various colors, but for me, that chartreuse kind of gives it that really leachy look and really kind of gives it that added flash just to kind of help it stick out, especially in dirty water. And then as far as thread goes, kind of our base, uh, we're gonna be using black UTC 70. Uh, so here we go. So basically, I'm gonna just kind of start by wrapping up here at the top of the hook. Just create a little bit of a base. This is gonna really help that leather from sliding around, rotating around on you there. I do like to leave a little bit up front for when we go to finish our fly. And now we're just gonna add our little piece of leather here. All right, um, what I like to do with this leather too is just kind of cut it a little bit at an angle up front. This is gonna slim it down so that it's not super bulky up top. Oop. There we go. So it's not super thick up top. And then we're just gonna tie this guy on in, wrap it all the way back. And you'll notice too that deer lace really kind of pulls down. I'm gonna wrap this right to the bend of the hook here, okay? Now, our next step, we're just gonna slide our chartreuse tinsel. underneath wrap this back forward again again we're just trying to keep this nice and slim up front and then finally we're going to add our scud back put that on in there this back towards the front even just a little bit of the hook there showing just so we can make sure we cap it out right okay now we're just going to wrap this scud back forward kind of over top of each other each little wrap is going to create a little bit of a segment before we cinch it here Couple of wraps to lock that guy on in there. Go 
doesn't want to stick. That's one of the problems with this scud back is you really got to make sure you wrap it nice and tight so that it doesn't slide. We'll pull that tinsel right over top. I'm gonna give it a wrap there and then just kind of pull everything back again over top so it's nice. Tie that on in, clip that. Do a few more wraps just to kind of give it that nice contour. that. Now I'm going to clip trim this, you know, and you can make these as short or as long as you want. This is a size 12, so I'm going to try to make it just about an inch and a half long total um, from the eye of the hook towards the back there. So we have that nice slim profile up front, a little thicker in the back. And now we're going to add just a little bit of resin over top doing a clear fly finish. Oh, I've got a bunch of my dog's hair on here too. We're just gonna paint this right over top. It's gonna give it that extra slick look and it really makes that and it really makes that tinsel kind of pop. Alright, and then just finish this off. down and there you go there's our light speed leech nice quick pattern very leechy fish really enjoy it so i hope it works well for you on the water thank you so much and tune in next month for uh march bug of the month